everyone, my name is Sarah and you are watching Kakukoto where today we are going to compare the Tombow water brushes with the Pentel Aquash. As you can see, the Pentel, uh, sorry, the Tombow ones are all filled up with water. Only this little bubble of water, uh, of <laughs> this little bubble of air in there. But uh, the aquash I use quite a lot and I forgot to fill them with water. But I found my trusty Model One Soho sketch pad, which you can see I've already used quite a lot. I found a palette and for this video I'm going to use the Gansai Tambi watercolors by Kuretake which is the only set of watercolors I own, to be honest. Uh, let's put it like this. And unfortunately, I did not get to play around as much with the Tombow water brushes as I would have liked. But um, I think I'm going to show you the different tip sizes again. First, we have this small water brush. And I also own the small brush in the in the pencil. And the first thing that you notice is the tombow might look la larger or longer, but it really isn't because the grip is so much further down. It looks longer, but it seems to be the same length. And the caps of the Tombow also post like they would in the Aquash. And then in the Tombow we have a large version, which I guess you could compare to the medium version of the Pentel. As you can see, I've used the Pentel one quite a lot. Yeah, it seems to be about the same size. And the one thing that I don't have by Pentel, but which came in this three-piece set, is the flat water brush. I think it's quite um, short compared to the other brush tip sizes, but with this you can get a nice wash of colors. And it holds the pigment really, really well, as you can see. And then we're going to compare the small. Which color shall we use? I love this blood red. Because this is the very first time that I use it. It takes a little bit to to get it loaded with pigment and as I've said before I'm not a calligraphy artist I haven't done any of the drills as you can see but I quite like the flexibility of this small tip. Maybe because I hold it differently from the aquash, so much further back compared to the to the tombow, it feels like I have more control with it. But that may be just me. Uh, this is not the small, the one with the dark tip is the small. And let's try Murasaki, which is purple. And I know this is not a new one, but because the place where I hold it is down here, where there's 
actually not the grip section. You tend to hold it in the back because um, this is where you press out the water. I think because I'm so used to this, I can control this better. But if you ask me, both of these look almost the same. I forgot to bring a uh, towel. <laughs> And then we have the large size one. And this one I've used once already. But it's still a little hard to uh, pick up the pigment with this one. And it still seems a little dry. There we go. So that's the large size of the Tombow water brush. And then we go for the purple again. In the pencil, I don't use the aquash medium size that often, to be honest, but this one feels more flexible, might be because. I've used it already quite a lot, actually. Mm. Let's get the second page. Yeah. This one also has the same flexibility as the Aquash. It's just because it was so new that now I pressed it a little bit. And to be honest, the um, it's nice to have the grip section down here, but when you're used to the to the aquash water brushes, then you tend to hold it up here. But the Tombow also has um, little indents on the tank to make it easier to hold onto that section and find like a correct way to press it. So I said in my previous video that I would definitely carry the Tombow brushes from now on but now that I've tried them I don't think they are that much different. I also said in my previous video that I got quite a steal on these. They were really really inexpensive because of the fare. I think I'll have to try them out some more but if you ask me now I would say they are really not that different from the Pantel Aquash. As I said, I have uh, not tried the flat brush of the Pantel Aquash, but I guess they will be pretty much the same. So if you've never tried water brushes, then the, this new set might be for you. If you already own the Aquash, I don't think that you would necessarily need the Tombow water brushes, except if you have a death grip when you try water brush calligraphy or stuff like that, then I would go for the water brushes. So much for my review. I promised you that I would uh, give away 
my extra set. This one down here. And I already prepared the names that commented. So the people that took part in the giveaway are all in this little pouch. And I um, folded the papers exactly the same. So uh, Karin P is the winner of my giveaway. You get this set of Tombow water brushes. Um, there is an email address down below where you can let me know your address. Thank you very much everyone for participating. I hope that my little review helped you at least a little bit. Um, I need to go for a walk with my dog right now. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.